Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, I've been recently like getting obsessed with this shade in the James Charles palette. And this shade right here, out of all of the shades in the palette, I have been obsessed with this shade. I don't know if the camera captures it or not. But it's purple with like a little bit of blue in it, which is really cute. And I wanted to do a look on that. So that's what I'm going to try to um, do today. To start things off, I'm going to use this brush. And it's an M441 from Morphe. I think I'm going to go in with the shade first. And since these shades are pigmented, I'm going to start in softly. And like building it up to the color um, that I basically want to get off of it. Now I'm going to use this shade right here and just go a little bit on the crease, not too much. So the first shade that I used was. 518 and the shade that I'm using right now is code James and yes I'm using the same brush okay so now I'm gonna pick up my E27 brush which is a big fluffy brush basically that's all it is and I'm gonna pick up this yellow shade right here and just use a little bit of it so I'm just going to blend the yellow and orange together. So now I'm going to use this brush from Morphe and it's called M330. And it's basically like this. And I'm going to go into this shade called Cola. It's basically like a halo eye. So I'm going to go in here to this end into my inner corner and back and forth and I'm gonna go on to my crease area so I kind of want to try what this shade would look like as well and this shade color is called brother so I'm just gonna add a little bit on there and like basically bend it together Okay, so now the moment is here. I'm going to now apply this color, which is called Artistry, and I'm gonna go in with my finger. So I did not know that the camera was gonna capture it this way, but are you guys seeing this? <laughs> how how dope is that? What? So I know I should have done this step before applying on the artistry shade in. So basically what I'm doing here is just blending it in. Uh, so it doesn't look that harsh at all. So, um, But that's okay because um, the artistry shade stays in the middle just exactly where I want it to be. So now I'm going to use this brush called M506 and it basically looks like this and what I'm going to do is go back into the into the cola shade and basically go into the inner corner and the outer. See how it gives it more of its actual color now? And now just applying artistry in the middle. So 
So now I'm going to use this liner brush. For that, I'm going to use my Tarte eyeliner. Now that this is done, I'm going to basically clean up right here. Um, I do have a little bit of shadow, so I'm just going to clean it up up to the lining. Add some concealer, foundation, uh, maybe a little bit of blush or just bronzer. And... Um, I would say eyelashes will look good too, but since I want to stunt this eye look, I think I'm going to leave it like this and just put mascara on my eyelashes. Okay, so going back to the palette, I'm going to use the same brush I used earlier for the inner and outer corner, the M506, and I'm just going to go in with a little bit of the, I think, I remember this I'm sorry. I'm going to go back in with the shade color, Koa, just a little bit, okay? I'm going to apply that right over here on the corner. Uh, I'm just going to apply that softly. Now we're just going to go in with this shade, using the same brush, of course. And I'm just going to blend that with uh, Koa. And uh, I believe this color was Koa James. pencil brush. This uh, pencil brush is from Colourpop and I believe it's it's E10. That's what it's called. I don't know if it's grabbing it on the camera. Oh, there it goes. So yeah, E10 from Colourpop and it looks like this. So going back into the palette, we're going to go in with this shade called Hello. That is stunning. <laughs> it really is. Wow. I love the way it looks on the camera too. Like, like, do you, do you see that? <laughs> and no, I'm not spraying it with anything. It's literally just going on there naturally, which is freaking amazing. How beautiful. It's so cute. I love it. I didn't even know it was going to look this, cute, this nice. <laughs> wow. I'm impressed. For this area right here, um, you could definitely go in with another um, shade um, that will like, if you like the intense glit, uh, shine right here, then yeah, definitely go with it. Um, I think I wouldn't because I actually like the way it looks right now, but... I'll go ahead and do that for you guys. For this one, I'm going to go in with King Tut. That's a nice, good shade. It's more than a good shade because it's actually my go-to shade. And I love it. It's Okay, so I was using natural light. And unfortunately, the sun was already down. And I wasn't really able to get good light. But I will do a close-up later. Okay, so now I'm just going to apply mascara. This is the... Better than sex, Too Faced mascara. So, so it's just a close up. Now that I have um, better lightning. Um, it's not all bad. I was literally thinking about it the whole time at work. I was like, I'm gonna use this shade, I'm gonna use that shade and do this look. And I did not expect it to look this way, but it's really cute either way. And I like it. And this inner corner right here, A1. Fucking cute. So yeah, that pretty much sums up my video for today. And um, thank you guys for watching. I really did enjoy myself doing this video today. And I do have another one in mind. So if you guys want to stay tuned to that one, 
go ahead and subscribe if you would love to and um yeah go ahead and share your comments down below uh any tips or anything you want to recommend me uh i'm so will i'm really open to it and that's pretty much it so if you guys want to see the other look that i will be creating please stay tuned to it and subscribe bye